Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I am wickedly excited to do. It is going to be a new Sephora haul and I have a big old box in my lap here. So I'm really looking forward to sharing with you what I have picked up recently. I do wanna say a big thank you to Sephora because they are sponsoring this video. That is so cool to me to be able to partner with them. Thank you guys so much for continuing to show your support over here so I have these crazy amazing opportunities thank you so much to sephora for working with me on this one and uh, i really tried to pick out a, a variety of different products from makeup skincare i have hair products i have brands that i absolutely love i have brands that are going to be newer to me and i can't wait to show you everything so if you guys have not heard sephora is actually running a summer promo event i have some information that i am going to share with you in case you have not seen the details yet basically they are going to have a discount code so when you spend uh, $100 or more, you'll get $20 off. Or if you spend $75 or more, you will get $15 off your purchases. Uh, the dates for that are going to be Friday, August 14th through Sunday, August 23rd. It is a one-time use code for online products, and it is going to be unlimited when you use it in store. And the code is welcome back. I will have all of that information in the description box. The code is also valid for US and Canada. And the only thing that you have to do is to be in their Beauty Insider program. If you're not already in that program, I highly recommend that you are because that's what's gonna give you access to use this code. But then they also have a lot of other fantastic rewards uh, when you are a part of their Beauty Insider program. It's completely free to join and you just get little benefits throughout the way, including the birthday gifts. I always get excited for the birthday gifts. Uh, and there's a lot of other really cool features with it so definitely make sure that you are signed up with that program and again I will have all of that information in my description box if you have any questions on the order amounts the code the dates any of that make sure to check over there but again thank you so much to Sephora for sponsoring this video this is really exciting to me and I have so much to show you in this box so why don't we go ahead and get started all right so I did also want to say that I filmed this look right here and I did use a bunch of the products that I picked up from Sephora I'm not exactly sure the order my videos are going to go in if it's if this look is not already up, it's going to be my next video. And if it is already up, then I will link it in the cards, but I wasn't sure exactly what order I was going to be posting them in, but I obviously just finished filming this look. And then I wanted to do the haul, but my idea when I was picking out the products is I wanted to grab you know, newer items that you guys have really been requesting for me to review and show and show different looks with. So I did ask on my Instagram, I did the questions feature and said, you know, what are you guys most excited about for Sephora? What would you most want to see reviewed? And I went through everything because there was a ton of suggestions and I tried to pick out the products that, you know, I would really also want for myself um, and that I would be really interested in reviewing. But thank you to everyone who left your feedback because I feel like this is a pretty crazy awesome haul, okay? Let's go ahead and let me start with some... All right, I'm gonna start with a few products that are repurchases for me. These are products that I really enjoy, that I have ran out of or I'm almost out of and I wanted to have it back in my collection so first up from Kopari I have their lip glossy this is their coconut lip oil uh, this is what I use pretty much every single morning I just ran out of mine and I was really sad about that because it's just my favorite I've gone through so many of these and I just really like them I put it on in the morning and I feel like it keeps my lips hydrated and smooth all day long so uh, I always want to have this one in my collection so glad to have another one of those uh, I also picked up a mini of the tower 28 SOS save our skin daily rescue facial spray I have gone through a mini I now have a full size that is like it's less than half it's I'm gonna run out of it probably soon because I usually use it twice a day and the full size was sold out on Sephora interesting but they still had the mini and i was like oh thank goodness so i grabbed the mini um so when i finish that off i don't have to miss any days because i don't want to miss any of that uh this has been so great for me especially for my hormonal acne just keeping everything in check and i'm so glad that i discovered that spray thanks to you guys that's like 100 my comment section told me i should buy that 
thank you so much you did not steer me wrong and then the other repurchase that i made is from <laughs> drunk elephant and this is their sweet pity deodorant cream so i just mentioned this in my most recent empties video and i said that i actually really enjoyed it the first couple times i tried it i wasn't really sure what to think because it is more of a cream so when it comes out and you put it on you have to do the chicken dance for a while and shake it around a little bit for it to dry but it is just truly one of the best natural deodorants that I've tried. I've decided for some reason to do this journey with natural deodorants. I don't know what it is, but honestly, I've been trying other ones and I'm like, kind of just want to go back to the drunk elephant. So uh, I'm excited to have this one back. But also speaking of deodorants, I've been hearing, this is so funny that in the Sephora haul, I have two deodorants. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, Okay. You know, I mean, so, like we all wear deodorant. Okay. Like it's just, it's not that weird, but I've been hearing a lot of people talk about this one from Kosas. So this is Kosas Sport. I think it says fragrance free chemistry, AHA serum deodorant. So I believe I just saw Hiram talking about this one too. And I was like, all right, let's see what this is about. A clean serum deodorant features a unique AHA blend for the ultimate odor fighting treatment. Bonus, it helps soothe skin, visibly brightens, and helps prevent ingrown hairs. So there's a cooling roller ball supposed to feel good going on your skin and the formula is supposed to dry quickly. I mean, it sounds like there's a lot of other benefits besides just being a deodorant so I'm very curious about this I'm definitely gonna try it out I think I'm just gonna switch over to the Kosas one right now and see what I think of it and then I'll have my drunk elephant as my backup if need be but let's give it a shot has anyone tried this one yet from Kosas hmm? all right so moving over to some makeup purchases so there was a lot of requests for foundations and I've gotten a few foundations recently. Like I grabbed the Ilia Skin Tint. Um, I got the new ColourPop Pretty Fresh foundation, but I feel like there was like a foundation craze for a while and then it kind of slowed down. But I, when I was seeing a bunch of different foundations uh, request it, I was like, all right, let's see what I can do here. And I ended up picking the two that I was most interested in trying out. So one is the Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation. This was probably the one that was most requested on my Instagram. So I really wanted to grab this one and it is actually what I'm wearing today. So again, it'll be on that try on video. Um, the shade match, unfortunately, is not the best for me. I got natural beige, which I was pretty sure it said it was um, a neutral undertone, but it was really quite warm on me. So if I look a little bit more yellow, it's not my fault. Um, okay, it's not my fault. I thought I did a good job picking it out, but um, I really did want to try this. I really do enjoy the Born This Way concealer. It's it's one of my favorite concealers. This kind of looks like the concealer, which is kind of funny, but really wanted to try it out, especially since so many of you seemed so excited to hear about it. But then also, I saw some requests for this one, and I was like, Let's try it out. This is from Dior. This is the Forever Skin Glow 24 Hour Wear Radiant Perfection Skin Caring Foundation with sunscreen. <laughs> Okie dokie then. So I actually do like Dior foundations. Sometimes they have similar names so I get a little bit confused but it was like Dior Forever Skin. Dior Skin Forever Skin. <clears throat> It was like a it was like a silly name that I felt weird every time I said it but I really really liked that foundation and also the Dior backstage that's one of my favorites so again when I saw this one popping up I was like let's give it a shot and the Too Faced is supposed to be more matte whereas this one is supposed to be more of a glowy foundation so I thought it would be nice to get two you know kind of differing foundations but this one this one looks really nice I feel like the shade looks pretty good too it's 2.5 n and I will definitely be giving this a try so what it did say it has SPF it has SPF 35 in it it's supposed to give you lasting hydration I like a really natural foundation but I like it if it pulls a little bit more dewy or a little bit more glowy so I think I'm really gonna like this again there was just more requests for the Too Faced so I thought that would be better to put into the trying new makeup but definitely excited to try both of those I got a new mask Mascara, yay! This is the Hourglass Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. I really love the Hourglass Caution Mascara, so I was very curious to get this. There have been some good mascaras coming out. One of my last videos was a Sephora haul follow-up, so I have a bunch of reviews in there, and there's three different mascara reviews. Huda Beauty, Urban Decay, and also Marc Jacobs. So, you know, I'm really excited to try this one out also. Packaging, very heavy. I like the gold. I like that. And, ooh, that's a fun wand. Okay, 
I'm excited to try this out. I have high hopes for it. I almost used it today, but I did wear lashes, and I was like, if I'm going to try a new mascara, I want it to be on a day where I'm not wearing lashes, which is most days. Uh, so yeah, I will definitely be testing this out, and I'm really looking forward to trying that. Hopefully it works well for me. Also in here, so speaking of lashes... I bought two pairs. I feel like this haul, I just recently posted a video titled Beauty Products I No Longer Buy. And um, I bought a few things that I mentioned in that video, but you know, it just, sometimes it happens. I also did say, at least on one of them, that you know, sometimes there are things that still call my attention. It's just, I'm not buying them as much maybe. But I did get some false lashes and I did mention in my Will I Buy It series that the House of Lashes and Patrick Ta lashes were really speaking to me. I like House of Lashes a lot. Um, when I was wearing false lashes so much more, I was going through a lot of House of Lashes pairs and I like Patrick Ta a lot also. And so when I saw their collaboration, I was like, let's try it out. So I ended up grabbing two pairs this one here is it's a look and then I also got I think these are called I mean dot 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 and those are the ones that I have on today and I really like this pair they're really lightweight they're comfortable the band is really really thin which I prefer that's my preference I feel like it's easier for me to work with and I feel like they look more natural versus a more thick band but these lashes look to be pretty much the same too like that very almost like a transparent band again that might not be your thing so if it's not be aware that you might not like these but I was a fan and yeah I got two pairs Okay, but you know, there's that, that happened. <laughs> All right, another product that I said I really don't purchase anymore, or I try not to purchase as much anymore, is face palettes. But I got this one from Jouer. This is the Champagne and Macarons Sweet Cheeks Face Palette. I also said in my Will I Bet video, if you're not familiar with that series, I post it every Wednesday. It's all about new makeup releases. I talk through all of the new things. I say what I want to grab and what I'm not interested in. And with this collection with Jouer, I was like, shoot, that face palette is pretty. And I like this because it has um, a bronzer, two blushes, and then also a highlight. This one is the lighter one. There is also another face palette in this collection, which I really appreciate appreciate that. You have the mirror on it, but I like that you have different categories. It's not just all blush. It's not just all highlighter. That's really what I was trying to move away from because I want something that I can get a lot out of. So today, because I have quite a few like cheek products in here, I did, well, no, I used two. I used suntan as my contour actually. And then it's like a contour bronzer. And then Citrine is my highlight, which is super beautiful. But I really do like Jouer face products. I like their blush duos. I like the bronzer duos. And this one just, I thought it was so pretty. And some of you also did. See, I don't think I, did I grab, I'm trying to think if I grabbed anything that wasn't mentioned in my Instagram. But I mean, there was also a lot. You guys were really coming at me with your suggestions, which I loved. It helped me out so much to let me know what you really want to see, what you want reviews on. And that's just, you know, that's super helpful. Of course, then buying what I'm most interested in, what I really want to try too. But I'm excited to keep using that face palette. I also got, real excited about this, one of the new Patrick Ta uh, Duo Blushes. Yes. So this is called Major Headline double take cream and powder blush I grabbed the shade she's so LA my friend Karen Harris told me she thought that this would be the shade that I would really like and I think that she has all of them so I was like okay girl the packaging on it like so stunning you open it up you have the mirror here and then you do have a cream product and then also a powder product and the cream product is kind of in this protective thing here kind of reminds me a little bit of like the larger Natasha Denona face palettes with the creams, they typically have a little divider over them. I did use the cream side today as kind of like a bronzer slash blush. Again, I had a lot of cheap products going on, but I'm definitely going to be give, like using this so much because so many people have been hyping this up. This was so requested. Like, and it was so funny because even some of the, the comments were like, just anything Patrick Ta, just anything Patrick Ta. But then a lot of people also mentioned these blush duos and I have been eyeing these. So super excited that I have this. And then I did also purchase one of the Lawless Beauty blushes. I've been getting asked a lot of what I think of these and I'm like oh my gosh I have I don't have one yet like people are asking for my reviews and I was like ah I do buy pretty much everything from the brand in my last Sephora follow-up video I reviewed the new primer so I finally did grab a blush super cute it's smaller than the bronzer and the highlight which I don't mind because blushes 
never hit pan on a blush it'll probably never happen and i got the shade vintage love which is gorgeous loving the shade so i also use this today again i had a lot of cheek products i was trying like a little bit of every i was like a kid in a candy store i was like i want sprinkles i want oreos throw some gummy bears on that is how i would describe myself okay so very excited that i have this blush from lawless i also keep checking my instagram every day seeing if annie lawless had her baby yet i'm so excited she's like over 10 months pregnant at this point i'm like my goodness girl how are you doing this i did also grab from my girl charlotte this is her airbrush flawless setting spray to party all night and stay all day i did spray my face with this today as i was getting ready i wasn't quite sure how i felt though off of first uh first try i did grab the mini because you know i like minis so it just i felt like this made sense versus the full size and i wasn't sure if i was going to like it or not so let's just try the mini first the spray isn't too bad like Okay, the spray is maybe a little bit aggressive. I might have changed my mind there. It's a, it's a little bit aggressive, so I held it quite a ways away from my face, and I felt like it was a little bit sticky, which I don't love. So we'll have to see what I think and like how well it holds my makeup up, and it does have, it's just like a little bit perfumey. It's like perfume, but you've had it on most of the night and it's starting to fade away. That's kind of like, that is what I would consider the scent on the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. <laughs> All right, this is a super random product, but um, from the Sephora collection, this is their facial razor. Okay, so I believe this was like $16, and I was like, $16 for a facial razor? Like, I can get a pack on Amazon for like way cheaper, but it comes with three replacement blades, so you get four blades total. I was like, oh, okay, that makes much more sense to me. And I do shave my face. I have, I have videos on YouTube. The first time I ever did it was for a YouTube video, and I've done videos on my Instagram as well, so if you're curious about it or how I do it, um, I have a lot of videos out there, but it is something that I do regularly, so you know, I do want to replace my razors. And I've just been doing the ones from Amazon, but this this one had really good reviews. Um, so it's supposed to gently remove hair and peach fuzz for a visibly smoother looking complexion. My face does feel really nice after I shave my face. Skincare feels nicer, makeup application feels nicer, and I'm a fan of it. But a lot of the reviews are what sold me on this because people are saying that like, it's just, it's not scratchy at all. But sometimes if I'm not careful with the Amazon, like if I'm not really paying attention, I can get like a little red scratch on my face and I'm like ah you know that was me I wasn't like pulling tight or something but yeah there was just a lot of good reviews on this so I was like let's try it out it's something that I do so do you guys shave your face I don't know let me know Oh, another beauty product that I got. This is from Ilia Beauty. This is just a mini, and this is their Balmy Gloss Tinted Lip Oil. So it is what I'm wearing today over a Patrick Ta lip liner that I already had in my collection. I, I usually don't go for lip oils, but I, I thought this would be a fun one to try out. And some of you mentioned it too in Instagram, and I actually didn't know that they had this. So um, this was actually a bonus offer on Sephora. So I added it to my cart, so I just got the mini. But yeah, I'm excited to try it out. I really do like a lot from Ilia. And yeah, it is what I'm wearing today. All right, moving over to skincare. I grabbed a couple items from pharmacy because pharmacy, I'm kind of mad at myself that I haven't tried them sooner because they have been really impressing me. The honey mask is fantastic i look forward to using that honey mask like multiple days a week like when i know it's the day that i can use the honey mask i'm like score like i'm so excited about it and my face just looks and feels more hydrated and i'm loving it their honeymoon glow honestly i messaged them on instagram saying how impressed i was with the honeymoon like i was like i just have to tell you guys <laughs> and i mean they said thank you but they're probably like what was this weird girl doing messaging us but i was like this is crazy to me also their green clean really impressed with that one also i reviewed it in my last uh, sephora reviews so i wanted to grab some more from them because i'm like this brand is not playing around let's try it out so i got two more products to try they don't have at least from what i could see they didn't have a lot of minis because i just i really prefer skincare minis but you know let's give it a try i hope that these work out so i got the clean b ultra gentle facial cleanser i always love i don't know what it is about cleansers i enjoy trying new ones when i find ones that i really enjoy i tend to be really faithful to them but since I really enjoyed their honey mask, I was just kind of drawn to this one. So this is an ultra gentle facial cleansing gel, washes away surface oil, impurities, pollution residue, and makeup while nourishing skin with our proprietary, proprietary honey blend and hyaluronic acid. It's supposed to be formulated with sensitive skin in mind. It's a mild, low lather cleanser to help maintain skin's natural moisture barrier and soap free. Okay, 
So I'm definitely excited to try that out. And then I also got their Honey Drop Lightweight Moisturizer. I have been going through my milk makeup vegan milk moisturizer like crazy, but I'm like, maybe I should give another moisturizer a try. Oh, this looks just like uh, how their honey mask is. So you have the little spatula on top here, but this is a really cute little jar here and i like that you have that i think that's really handy so a little bit about this it's a long lasting lightweight moisturizer with hydrating honey a triple hyaluronic acid complex and butter beads it's supposed to promote a vibrant glowing complexion and deliver powerful antioxidants to help nourish skin perfect okay so those are my new products from pharmacy really excited to try them out and i also grabbed another one from the inky list because this was recommended in my instagram questions and i was like let's give it a shot Okay, so from the Inky List, this is Q10. This is a face serum. It says a powerful antioxidant that protects against skin damage caused by environmental stressors. Let's give it a shot. This is supposed to reduce fine lines, reduce wrinkles, and hydrate skin. All right, so you just have a little guy here. This is kind of funny because I purchased their salicylic acid cleanser, which I really do enjoy. Reviewed it in my last Sephora video. And it's a big guy. <laughs> like it's a big, when I got it, I was like, I wasn't expecting it to be this large because it's only like $10, but this one I almost didn't expect it to be this small, but you're supposed to be able to use it AM and PM. Typically when I'm using an antioxidant, I will use it in the morning and that's like a vitamin C. So this is one that I can put into my morning routine and see what I think, but I'm very curious since I saw this recommended actually a couple times too. Who has tried it and what did you think of it? Would love to know. All right, I'm finishing off with some hair products. I have a new product here from Olaplex. This is new to their line. And when I spoke about this in a Willy Bite video, I just knew that I wanted to try it. I'm really faithful to my Olaplex. I think I have every single product in their line and I've purchased all of them myself. I've repurchased products and I'm just such a fan. So when I saw that they were coming out with the number zero, I was like, Let's try it out. So this is their Intensive Bond Building Hair Treatment. It's supposed to prime, repair, strengthen, and protect all hair types. I'm super curious about this. I also did like that it came with a mini of the number three. Love the number three. So very excited about that. But then the number zero looks like so. This makes me feel... This makes me feel legit, okay? I'm kind of nervous about it because I'm not great with hair. I mean, look at my hair. Like, I tried to do the robe curls last night these are not it they were gone within like five minutes of waking up i was like okay i'm glad that i slept with a robe string on my head last night for no reason but okay so i just tried to curl my hair but this is what we got but this is an intensive bond building treatment it's best used as a two-part system with the number three hair perfector to strengthen and repair all types of damaged hair so you're supposed to apply this to dry hair saturate from root to tip leave on for 10 minutes do not rinse apply a generous amount of the number three hair perfector to saturated hair and wait 10 minutes then rinse shampoo and condition i'm definitely going to try it i'm really excited for it i have always struggled with my hair and i feel like my hair really started to change once i started using olaplex again their shampoo their conditioner the before mask their bond styler the number seven oil i mean i like it all so i'm really excited to try out the number zero and then lastly i really wanted to try out the brand fable in maine so i was gonna say that they're available at sephora obviously they are but there's a couple different products that i grabbed from them i mentioned them in a will i buy it also and i said that i was curious to try them out so i got their shampoo conditioner and hair mask set i love when products are in a set like this and you know more minis i think that's great i do only wash my hair twice a week so if i can get smaller sizes of shampoos and conditioners that typically works well for me it's less space in the shower it just it makes sense so i'm excited to try this out but then a lot of people were saying that you really like the holly roots hair oil so stronger hair begins with healthy roots so i really wanted to grab this also and it wasn't in the set so this one i think that you use it yeah you use it before you wash your hair so i'm excited to give it a try and see what i think if you guys have tried anything from fable in maine definitely let me know but i just thought it would be a fun hair care brand to try out i think this is really cute on the packaging on each one they have it says the fable and then they have like a little story that is so so fable in maine oh my gosh 
I love this. This is also a cruelty free brand and they're supposed to have like secrets from India that they incorporate into their products. So hey, I'm excited to test out a new brand. Other than that though, that's everything that I have picked up from Sephora. Oh my gosh, this was so exciting for me to be able to do. I hope that you enjoyed seeing this haul. Most definitely let me know what do you wanna see reviews on first. Again, I have that trying new makeup video or I'm about to have the trying new makeup video with a handful of these other products. I will definitely do some videos on like the hair care products, the skincare products also. Uh, but let me know what you thought. I definitely wanna get your feedback and thank you to everyone who responded to let me know what you wanted to see in this haul because that really did help me out so much. And another thank you to Sephora for sponsoring this video because this just is so exciting to me and I'm really grateful for that. So again, make sure to check out the description box for all of the information on their summer promo event. Will you guys be shopping it? Definitely let me know what you are eyeing right now and I hope that you found this one helpful. Other than that though, if you guys did enjoy it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I will see you in my next video. Bye.